Good Monday evening. Thank you for joining us. A year ago this month, two young children were kidnapped by their non-custodial parents. And those parents, Luis and Andrea Ramirez, were recently convicted in absentia on child pornography and sex crime charges. The victim in that case was under the age of 15, and some say those charges were the reason the couple took off to Mexico with their kids. News 4 Tucson's Lupita Murillo has the story in today's Crime Trackers report. I love them. I think about them every day. Every day. That's the message Erica Ramirez wants Luisito and Camila to know. I just pray to God. Um, in my mind, you know, I hope that they're doing well. Erica and her husband David Ramirez are the children's guardians. They're also family. They brought Camila home from the hospital when she was just four days old. Luisito was four years old. Since they've been gone, they look at videos and remember the fun times. <laughs> That's when we, she started crawling. She was only time. six months. I don't think she's going to remember me. So it's, it's a little bit difficult. Shortly after she and her five-year-old brother Luisito were kidnapped by their parents, this is video News 4 Tucson obtained that shows them going into Mexico on May 5th, 2018. Last we saw um, they crossed into Mexico. We do have um, the marshals. They consider us an active case, and they're actively working it as well. Tucson Police Detective Tristan Pittenridge worked the case. He was assigned to the child abuse unit. Now he's undercover, but still involved in the investigation. We want to get these kids back home. We want to make sure they're safe. Um, I know the family's really concerned for the welfare of the children as well. Especially given the recent trial where Luis and Andrea were convicted in absentia on multiple counts of sex crimes and child pornography. There's concerns that this could be going on with their own children. There's also concerns they're in Mexico and, you know, Mexico's a very dangerous place and that leaves the children more exploitable to um, dangerous crimes. The children are a year older. Eric and David have no idea of where they're at or what they're doing except that they're in Mexico. Now that it's a year, money's depleted. Um, you know, he wasn't working before he left. She was receiving, you know, disability checks. So how are they getting by? Could other family members be helping them? I don't want to, you know, pinpoint and accuse people, but it certainly is possible. Um, I'm not gonna comment on that, but obviously in any investigation, that would be a concern that family members could be helping. The main concern is for the children. Erica worries about Luisito, who is now six years old, who should be in school. He should be in kindergarten. He should be going into first grade in August. Dependent Child Services took the children from their parents, Luis Ramirez Sr. and Andrea Vanessa. It's not clear why the children were removed from their parents' home. However, in 2016, when Luisito was four, the parents were charged with felony child abuse. They allegedly had a loaded firearm within the child's reach. After that, Luisito came to live with his aunt and uncle and three older cousins, all who miss them dearly. The beautiful smiles and laughters from them. Luis with his dimples, big old dimples. And Camila, you know, just she was at that time learning, you know, getting her voice, learning her voice. Eric and David are hoping now that the couple are convicted felons, there will be more of a push to find them and to bring the children home where they belong. It's not if they get caught, it's when we're gonna catch them. So until then, Erica, David, and their three children will continue to pray for the safe return of Luisito and Camila. Very hopeful, continue to be hopeful. If you have information, you are urged to call 911, or if you wanna remain anonymous, call 88-CRIME. Lupita Murillo, News for Tucson.